matchup I've been wanting to see. The great defender against a guy that knows how to score. See how patient this will be. Nine Hurd has been playing his best ball of his career the last two weeks. Inches to Shabazz. But yeah, but he's got more strength. Shabazz and a hack on uh, Jossie Klein Hurd. His career to Florida State. And he's the only Providence player with NCAA experience. Played two games, freshman year there, a win against TCU and a loss to Valparaiso. That uh, magical Valpo team. Not yet been able to get a shot off. Klein Hurd outside and the rebound right into the arms of Augustin. Providence not a great out rebounding team, actually being out rebound of the year, but they're blocking out nicely. Maxi off the feed from Linehan. Basically, they play 10 guys. So uh, don't get into your chair figuring what you're seeing on the floor right now is going to be the game because their big success, and that's off Crispin's legs. Mentally, you've got to always be aware that Linehan's right there. And he has played some of the best guards that you'd want to play handling the ball and really shut them down this year. His first, uh, well, the first Providence player to win a postseason award in the history of the Big East. And that's a follow up by Shabazz. They can settle down. Crispin comes off a pick, gives it up instead. And oh, Kleinhardt, what a play. Maxie, Reach Maxie. in there by Maxie. Maxie did a real good job. He was up in the air, overcommitted. And a foul called against Penn State. Seven, Ivory, Joe Crispin from the corner, and he's on the board. He likes. And That's one three. What Joe happened right Crispin. there is Linehan got caught in all the traffic. Good patience. Really would be an outstanding college power forward. And that shot doesn't drop. Oh, to Mills. Oh, oh, for the, the second pass. time, putting things back. Go and just a flat effort. But Penn State certainly a lot more intensity tonight. John Crispin. Wow, that one was well, that had considerable arc to it. The uniform. But he's playing. Oh yes. <laughs> this time the only thing that drops is the, is the shot right through the net. And looking to add to that run. Boy. He, Linehan reminds me a lot of Muggsy Bogues. He plays so low to the floor, you just can't get your dribble by him. Even when you use crossovers, his hand is right in the way. And boy, does he like contact. There's a lot of screens coming right at him. Here's Chris. Oh, and that was definitely a defensive play. Mills coming off a nice screen. Mills in the lane, gives it up. Douse it with the dunk. Mills made that play, coming off the screen nicely, getting a nice angle. Advantage now for Providence. And in fact, they're going against the second team. Watkins not used to a defensive player like that. You put it on the floor, and he's going to get a piece of it. For Iowa, and not to take anything away from Iowa's glove, because they had a sensational tournament. Oh, Maxi with the lay-in. Watkins. Important shot here. Oh, yes. Cans it for a three. Ivory, who had a sensational year in the Big Ten this year in almost every category. One hand three. Beautiful shot. I think he faked Crispin out that time. Mills has been able to penetrate at will. Beautiful pass. No look pass, and Ivory. Mills is a guy with 88 assists, only 64 turnovers. That was a tough catch. Oh. Eight minutes to go in the half, and Penn State leads by seven. Isn't it amazing? These two teams, with an Eastern tradition, have only played one other time in their history. That, that's almost unimaginable. Mills pull up two. Mills could be the difference maker in this game. Coming in, throwing some intense defense. Line hurt. Gets it back. No foul call. Augustin with a good help from behind. Ten-point lead has been cut in half, and Kaba, well, he lost it there. Ivory comes out with it. There's Crispin. He's got the open jumper. Doesn't take advantage of it. Meinhardt gives it up. One pass too many. Yeah, maybe should have shot it. He would have at the worst gotten fouled. No look. Taylor Smith, baseliner. Yes. And then, that's, I agree with you. Shabazz in and out. Taylor. Oh, Shabazz with his third dunk. Third dunk and follow up on the, on the offensive glass. Something that's not Providence strength. That was against UCLA 10 years back. Outside jumper drops for Maxi. This is a tough team to match up with this Providence club. You can see why they've had success. Not only the depth of their team, but so many guys are capable of pulling up and making the three. Crispin blocked. And there comes Linehan. Tried to tip it over the tape, but Linehan so quick. Maxi again, and not this time. 
Wow. Tie wow. up for the rebound, and he gets it to Goers on the team. Joe's number one. They're three of 13 from the field. And what a soft touch off the front of the rim for Laxa. Tonight, Ivory out on top. Mills breaks it alone and banks it home. Mills tonight, almost every time he's put the ball on the floor, whether it be man to man or in that case, Zone has been able to penetrate right on by the Penn State defenders feet from behind him. See how he got around that screen? Crispin with a three, his second of the night. It's a good time to go down, take the quick shot, and try to get it back to second. Charge, time. Charge wow. called on Joe Crispin. Give their good pass, no delivery. Second pass to Klein Hurd from Tyler Smith. Take it, three pointer. Here in New Orleans, the first basket of the second half to Penn State. We were tied at 30 at the intermission. And that one ties it. That's Aaron Maxey for Providence. Boy, Maxey showed good patience, staying out on the side. Linehan knew he was out there, knew he was open. That little penetration gave him an even better look. For Shabazz, who's sitting with three fouls. John Crispin, in and out. Klein Hurd with the putback. He's not playing Smith, so Klein Hurd being double teamed, doesn't recognize it. And Linehan breaks free. Bounce pass over to Amron. That's oh, got to be a basket interference. There has to be a no call. Shab Trying to create something. Does. Klein Hurd off of the pass. Give Joe Crispin. Give Crispin some credit right there instead of Joe Crispin. So four subs on the floor for the Lions. And look at John Crispin. Good stuff inside. Where's He's he driving on Shabazz. Oh, he made it. Oh. Biggest advantage. The bench, but the starter yeah. on the floor. Yeah. It is oh, indeed, oh, is it indeed John yeah. Crispin doing it right now for the Nittany Lions. Beautiful crossover dribble. That's to stop his dribble, though, in the lane. Back outside, and Augustin. Douth it to Maxi. Beautiful pass. It was a pass and a tough catch, Jim. A foul. Had a player on his back. Yeah, he sure did. Then a bad shot, and he hits it anyway. All down the lane. Jumper from the corner, rattles out. Oh, a good steal by Crispin. Maxi had a layup. Crispin to the basket, and Penn State in the head by 11. He looks team so far. Zone defense now by Penn State, changing things around. Shabazz back in the game, and he nails the jumper. He has four fouls, and he returns to the lineup. Remember in the first half, going to his bench, Crispin likes that shot. And again, using little of the clock, but he was open. Yeah, I don't think that's a good decision. They got to start playing oh. clock. Maxi and a charge! Big 12-3. Pac-10 looking very strong. Maxi cuts through, right through the zone, and gets the basket. Yes, he's, he's the only guy in the Hall of Fame as both a player and coach. Crispin. Steps in, hits it up to Klein Hurd. PA that absolutely frightened some of these kids. They were still shook the next day. And uh, there was a very mighty storm in here when they tried to land, and it should have never been trying to fly in at that time. Linehan with the three. It would be a priceless win for Penn State. Hanron, and that was a huge attempt right there. Could have cut it to four. Well, you can't call a timeout to take a shot like that. Did you see Klein Hurd turn around the ref and wink at him and said, yeah, you did catch me. He's hoping to get away with yep. it, but he knew he'd been caught. Temple in Florida won it. Linehan surrounded three ways. Shabazz, the journey about to end for him. His college career from Florida State to Providence. Kaba follows. You see, and what, you see what Penn State's doing. They're allowing the two-point shot, but not the three. Klein Hurd is out here in the outside saying, you can have all the twos you want. You can't beat us with twos. A timeout, and they're already celebrating on the Penn State bench.